Hi, Longmont. My name is Karen Stallard. I'm the membership director with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. The Longmont Chamber has been working hard to support our local businesses and connect the community during this challenging time because we don't think that being physically distanced means that we can't still socially connect and support one another. So I'd like to tag in Jessica Wanasek, the Chamber Event Director, to tell you a little bit about what we've been up to. Hey everyone, so the Longmont Chamber of Commerce has been hosting daily Facebook Live events Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. over on our Chamber Facebook page. We are featuring a local business or a nonprofit while having fun interactive activities, giveaways, and just connecting with our community. We wanted to share the fun with you after the fact, so we are airing all of our episodes from last week with you here now so you can enjoy. And we hope that you see some familiar faces from around Longmont. And remember, if you ever want to see the live thing, just tune into the Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Or check out a themed list of businesses over on our Chamber website. www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And find a business that you would like to support. Enjoy the show. Land ho! Howdy there, Long not howdy. Ahoy there, Longmont! Welcome to Feel Good Friday. I just thought this made me feel good, so why not? Welcome to Feel Good Friday, the culmination of the third Business Spirit Week put on by the Longmont Chamber to celebrate the fact that despite everything we're facing right now and the crazy amounts of uncertainty, Longmont is still open for business, and we are celebrating many of our amazing local businesses through this series, and today is no exception. Some of you may be wondering if there's a pirate business in Longmont or a, a gypsy, you know, boutique. The answer is yes and no. Cliffhanger. See what I did there? So uh, this is going to be a great day. Tune in. Tell me hi. I am in a corset for you, and I really want you to tell me that you're there to appreciate it, because if y'all's quarantine has been anything like my quarantine, this is the hardest thing I did all week. So I would really appreciate some, uh, some love for that. That'd be great. Oh, arg, arg indeed, arg to the COVID-19 that I have gained in the last two months. But alas, mateys, it's fine. We're gonna have a great time today. Um, we are getting together with one of my favorite people, not just because their business makes delicious things, but because they're always game to have a little fun and celebrate this community. They are, you know, one of the great watering holes of Longmont. Um, you know, anytime I come into port downtown, I think I should go by the old Long Tucky. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have a special show today with Long Tucky. So without further ado, I'd like to bring in me old pirate in crime, John with Long Tucky. Ahoy there, matey! Ahoy, Ahoy there, there, Karen, Karen Stallard. How are ye? I am good, sir, and how are ye? I'm doing quite well, thank ye. Good, excellent. Well, where Hi, are you? Uh, hello there, yes, wave hello. Amber Anderson is crying with laughter and giving us heart faces, so this is also a stupendous you. start, mate. Yes, very good, very good. So, John, you are one of the founders, owners, of Long Tucky Spirits, Longmont's very own. Correct, yes? That's right. Good. I am one of the founders and general managers here at Long Tucky Spirits. Some pirates, some not pirates, depending on the time. Uh, my business partner is HK Wallace. Uh, we opened just about three years ago. So um, we actually, Abbott and Wallace are our kind of parent company. We just turned five this week. So we've been doing this for quite some time. 
uh, in almost three years open here at Long Tucky Spirits. Wow, happy happy birthday, if oh, pirates right, celebrate such you. frivolous things. I hope you ate a piece of cake from the sea. Yeah, sea cake. Sea cake, sea cake. Hashtag sea cake. a little seaweed too. <laughs> Uh, and Long Tucky is located downtown, right? You guys That's are at right. what intersection? Fourth and Terry. Three fifty. Or as Terry I like Street. to call it, home. Yes. Fourth yes, and Terry. Yes. Charming old place, which was right actually the old St. time Brand Co. Cidery. building. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, John. I talked to him. Right next to St. Brand Cidery, in fact. That's right. It's like a little booze oasis, oh, just yes. a couple blocks from downtown. Truly, paradise in a you know, young pirate maiden's eyes. Um, very good. So obviously, John, some things have changed for you guys when the the bars and the, the tasting rooms all had to close a little over, almost exactly two months ago, I'm thinking, a little over, yeah. right? Um, like how, what are you, what are you guys, what are you guys doing right now, you know, to keep, keep the booze a-flowing? Well, the Longmont community has been very supportive of us. Uh, people have been coming in. We have new customers coming to buy bottles and can cocktails. That's been really amazing how the community is like, hey, we're in here to support you guys because we don't want you going anywhere. So that's been really heartfelt and we really appreciate it. Um, we've been making a lot of sanitizer. It's not hand sanitizer, but it is an 80% alcohol solution that's that's great for spray down sanitizing things. Uh, it's a yeah. byproduct of our distillation process. So every batch of rum and whiskey we make, we have a little bit of this, um, we call it heads. And it's just a, a mixture of different alcohols that we don't want to drink, but it's great for disinfecting and cleaning things. So uh, we've been making it as fast as possible. Uh, and people have been coming in every single day with with jugs or, or gallon buckets. We just keep the uh, keep the good vibes and the clean clean feelings going here. So yes, that is awesome. I know we uh, you guys have been making it so fast. You don't even have like an accurate count, but it's gallons and gallons and gallons, you gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons. Ahoy, matey! Gallons of sanitizer we deploy. All of the hands. I just made that up on the spot. I that should not good. improv. Yeah. I, I got a rhyme in there. I sneaked it. Um, but seriously, it's it's awesome what you guys started doing. I know you started getting those to our our first responders, the Longmont Police Department, our fire department, to make sure that they were able to take the extra precautions when they still had to keep providing amazing things for this community. Um, you guys were right there along with them, making sure that they could do that and keep their, their crews clean and the people that they're supporting clean. So can I get a giant, you know, yeah, ah! <laughs> war cry, war cry. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the word. Um, so that's just awesome. And you guys are also doing it so that if members of the community and family needs to come in and get some sanitizer for themselves, they can do that. They can come into the store and bring a, uh, I think it's 750 milliliters. 50 milliliters, what is it for families? Half a liter, 500 milliliters. 500 milliliters, I yeah, was small, not close. Small mason jar. Yeah. And they can get that every day if they need it. And it's, you know, while you're there, you might as well buy a canned cocktail because why not? That's um, so right. you guys are doing bottle sales, the canned cocktail sales, and you have some, some new releases coming soon as well. Is, is that right? Yes. You know, we we love our rums, but we mostly make bourbon and rye whiskey around here. So mm. uh, we started. You have hair on your chest stuff, eh? That's right. That's right. Plenty of hair there. You know, that's actually not a tunic. That's just your hair. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's so. amazingly pleated. I respect your time and care. <laughs> All right. uh, so. Uh, we started filling barrels shortly after we opened, and we were just so excited to finally be cracking into the bourbon barrels. It tastes so good. It's almost three years old. Uh, we just saw new labels two days ago, so um, mm -hmm. the 
It will also be the release of our Abin Wallace brand. It's uh, kind of our high-end products, uh, new new brand, but it's really it's where we all started. That's our, our parents' name and, and our family and community. So uh, we're just really excited for that to come. And that should really help us through this weird, like, hopefully we're able to open in June as well, but it's going to be, you know, a third at best of, of the yeah. people we can, you know, at capacity. So bourbon will definitely help. And uh, a lot of people really looking forward to it, especially yeah. me. Well, bourbon always helps in my yeah. mind. So in a time like this, I think everyone needs a little bourbon in their life. We've got uh, Jen, Jennifer with Ame's Love says, mmm, bourbon. So we've got some bourbon fans out there. Oh, oh, little bourbon head bob, little bobbin for bourbon. Yeah. Oh, it's getting funky. <laughs> I tell you, we don't need any alcohol. We haven't. I mean, maybe you have. You're at the distillery, but I haven't even drank yet. We should we should work on that. Oh, John's. OK, he's socially lubricated. That's cool. That's totally cool. Um, <laughs> um, and you guys also, I mean, obviously, it's hard not being able to have your tasting room open. We all have seen Longmont. I mean, I grew up in Longmont. And let's just say that the Friday nights pre-COVID, you know, B.C., before COVID, the Friday nights were popping, the Saturday nights were popping. And obviously that's gonna be a huge hit for your, for all of the, the food and beverage businesses, but especially our craft drinkeries. I mean, only being able to sell it, you know, selling bottles are great. Luckily you guys do have three years under your belt right now to, to start to weather this, but that's hard. I mean, businesses, they're narrow margins. So I'll just point out on Long Tucky's behalf that they do have a fundraiser going right now. They're looking to make some changes to the tasting room so that when they are able to open up, there's some social distance between guests. So for all of you uh, fellow drinkers in the area that remember those beautiful long tables that they built with the care and compassion, the same love that they put into their drinks, they put into every piece of furniture in that place. They are, mwah, yes. As, as sentimental as a pirate can get, they're freaking beautiful. So if you want one, you can buy one and support these crazy, awesome pirate kids. Um, so you should do that. They also have memberships and private cocktail hours and, you know, great things. So check out the uh, fundraiser page. We'll link to that later uh, so you guys can check it out. Thank you, Karen. Because you guys are humble pirates and they don't talk sad and braggy so i'm gonna do it for you we've asked yeah good okay well i think this has been enough um sober entertainment i think we <laughs> should do what everyone didn't know they were here for which is why john and i are in the garb that we are in because we are making a feel good friday cocktail yes so john Let's do it. Time for a little cocktail. Time for a little cocktail. All right. Well, today I'm going to make you the Ballad of Sam Hain. Sam the Hain Ballad of Sam Hain. Yes. It's a Gaelic festival or Celtic Celtic festival uh, where we enter the night. We're kind of entering the day. We're getting out of this, but we've been partying all winter long, you know. So. This COVID, it just keeps carrying on. So, Ballad of Sam Hain, it is. Ballad of Sam Hain! For this, get my we're treasure gonna need of ingredients. my good friend Luska Spice Drum. Oh, yeah. I'm Find prepared. it at the discovery in Karen's treasure box or at your local store. We're also gonna use our neighbors. St. Brain Cidery, the key lime. Hi! You know, I don't drink a lot of cider, but when I do, it's St. Brain Cidery. And the key lime, that helps with the scurvy, you know, keeps the teeth and gums real good. That's right. Pineapple Especially good with a little sea salt on it. Yes. Mm. All right, you're going to need a shaker. You want to shake things up. Mine you know, looks like a rocket. Up. It's a plane. So this recipe calls for one and a half ounce of Luska spice rum. Do I need ice, me lad? And a jigger. 
Don't forget the jigger. You got to measure everything up. Jigger on the rigger. Okay. I just have a measuring cup. I mean, yes. Do I put ice in? Now, one important thing. Hold on the ice, Karen. You're getting excited about the ice. Okay. One important thing about COVID. Happy hour. You always want to make two drinks. One for you and one for your person you're stuck with. And if if you're by yourself, you're gonna need two drinks anyways. So here, here. you'll feel a little better. Yeah, one for you now and one for you later. Ounce and a half St. Brain Cider. The old key lime. Pineapple juice. Smells just like mother used to make. Because uh, mother always made rum. That's a good mom you got there, Karen. My oh. mom always just drank rum. All right, it's a little special vanilla simple syrup. Mm. Aye. Only the toughest for ye pirates. Vanilla, yes, vanilla. simple syrup. Also known as sugar water. Uh, it's like an old grog, but a little fancy. This is the 21st century, you know. All right, it's in a lime. A lime. The recipe calls for a half lime. ounce of lime. I think half a lime is good. Good. Uh, uh, ooh. This is the biggest lime I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that's as big it's as your the head. size of me head. <laughs> Careful. All right, now, Karen, you're going to need the ice. Ice? My favorite. Yes. It doesn't fit in me squeezer. <laughs> it's too big. Oh, no. Monster lime. Oh. This lime did not want to die. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm still squeezing lime. All right. Yeah. Oh, God. Excellent form. Carbonated. Yeah, be careful. There she blows. <laughs> The light carbonation. Oh, yeah. Lads and lasses be warned when you shake cider. It has bubbles. It's just like the sea mist. Little lime, little booze. It's good for you. Good for the skin. Yeah. So this recipe makes two cocktails. Well, no, I made two. Oh. One for me and one for my scurvy dog, Wallace. <laughs> that's scurvy dog. Because that's the rule in quarantine. You always make one for someone else. Or just one perfectly good one for yourself. Yeah, or a big one. <laughs> or or big one, or big one. Cheers, matey! Cheers, arr. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Yes, if I was stuck on a desert island, I could drink this with you, Karen, all day long. All day. Or at least stuck in our house for right now. Still counts. Or the distillery. Very good. The distillery is mm. a good place to be stuck. Lots of whiskey. Fruity. 
tart, spicy. Perfect for a pirate. Pretty much everything you want in a cocktail. Yes, it's very fresh. The juice is key. And that key lime. The key lime cider. Mm. It really hits the spot. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it's fine. Put hair on your chest. <laughs> Something to walk the gangplank for. Very good. Very good. Well, we've got people saying yay bourbon. <laughs> That's cool. That's Love good to too. call you mateys. Aw, tender. See, we have something for everyone here. We've got bourbon. We've got rum. We have gin, a very yes, good gin. gin. Uh, Amaro. And then we take those award-winning spirits and make canned cocktails with them. Mm. So you don't and what are the four, you four cocktails. cocktails? The flight now, right? That's right. And what are they? Mint julep, mm. ginger beer spice rum, the Caribbean queen, mm. Amaro spritz, and the gin and tonic. If you keep calling me your Caribbean queen, people are going to start asking questions, John. Keep it, <laughs> keep it, you know, polite. Goodness. That's Very me good. And the julep that. is the, the bourbon, right? What's that? Julep. Yes, julep bourbon. And bourbon. Mm -hmm. Caribbean Queen is the rum, and then the Gina tonic is your gin. And then the um, Amaro is the new Amaro one. Spritz. The Steamboat Spritz. That's right. right. It's delicious. That's my favorite. For all of the audience, I didn't just know those off the top of my head from extensive research. I Googled it before this. No, I've, I've drank all of them. Not today, but before they're great they're delicious because it's I mean, that was work. my arms are sore my <laughs> the top blew off my shaker cocktails are Woo! hard so might as well let them can them for you and then take them home that's right it's great there's like nothing between you and happy hour just the snap of that little metal thing so that probably has a very engineered name like what is that who knows what that is snap of the metal thing this thing What's this thing? No, the this. Shaker? What's this? Uh, a little the tab. Not that tab. I was, you know, getting ready Pop to you know, Ooh, follow yeah. one cocktail with another cocktail, but what's this? I'm sure there's some name for that thing. Some it's scientific, just, like, yeah. the fun popper. Thingamajig. <laughs> thingamajig. Yeah. The metal thingamajig. Very good. Well, for the friends that are with us, thank you for, you know, sailing along with the craziness that was today. Um, we are going to uh, spoil one of you with the bounty of pirates. Because what do pirates like more than booze? If we haven't emphasized that enough today, then we've done something wrong. So one lucky viewer, as John sultrously sips his cocktail, we are going to give you a little quiz. And you will win a gift card from Long Tucky Spirits that gets you one of those four packs of their canned cocktails. Uh, uh, so you can try them all. It's like Pokemon, but it was easy. There's only four of them to collect. So you better collect them all because there's four. And like the Gina's perfect for like chilling. These are like a party in a can. They're like real strong proof. Takes me like straight to the derby. Now. It's like two servings, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two Ask servings. me how I know, Longmont. Ask me how I know. Um, and then, yeah, it's a great time. So you can try all four, figure out which one is your absolute favorite, and share it with you know your quarantine mates, your mateys. So, all of you viewers, ready? Your question first. Who hits the comments is gonna win. What was the base Long Tucky liquor that we used? In the Ballad of Sam Hain. What was it? By name, please. By name from Long Tucky, not just the type of alcohol. Mm, 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 mm. I want to do like. That's Is not copyright because I wasn't anywhere close. 
Anything? Anything? It's I think we scared him off. Who's going to get it? What is the base long tucky? Oh! Who got it? Muska! Well done, my EPA fair. for the win. You could have said Luska Spiced Rum, but you did refer it to by the long tucky name, which I said. So you, Mike Ferris, you whose office is but a mere block and a half away, you get a four pack, a gift card for a four pack of long tucky spirits. So John probably already knows who you are, but we'll make sure that you um, are on their books. The ledger. Oh, oh the I see what you did there, Karen. He was what? On their books. That was good. <laughs> In the captain's log, I very good, very good. So, um, thank you, Mike, for knowing the name. And from all of us here watching, can we just give a aye aye to our captain, fearless leader John, for tipping his hat to us today and joining us, having a fantastic time. It's not many people that would be like, yes, absolutely, I will get in pirate costume with you, Karen. And actually the idea, I have to give credit, came from John originally, because when this all started, he did a little series on Long Tucky's Facebook page. So if you need more of this crazy, uh, check out Long Tucky's videos. Uh, he actually did four, I think, cocktail quarantinis, right, from Long Tucky with different characters. Um, and I wasn't woman enough to do the WrestleMania one, um, but that's just to tempt you guys with a good time. So if you don't have anything else to do, make yourself the Ballad of Sam Hain or be lazy and crack open a Long Tucky Camp cocktail. Do what you got to do to feel good on this Friday. And John, from all of us at the Longmont Chamber and Longmont, thank you for keeping us socially and happily lubricated with alcohol as we quarantine and also for supporting our frontline workers and our families with amazing sanitizer. You guys do great work in your stills and Longmont's not the same without you. So absolutely. We love to be Longmont. in your tasting room below deck soon enough. Good, sir. Cheers. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Chamber. Love, love. So long, matey. Ah, oh, gosh. Now I'm just drinking alone. It really feels better when you have someone on the other side of the screen. So thank you all for joining us for Feel Good Friday. I hope that this made you feel good. The reminder that this business community is sticking together through thick or thin, through calm or weathered seas. We shall sail through together. And pirate metaphors aside, thank you all so much for your support. Continue to sp support these local businesses. They need us now more than ever. And we are going to continue to do these business spirit weeks until one happy day when we don't need to anymore. But until then, uh, stay healthy and take care, take care of yourselves and your family and support these local businesses and have a very good feel good Friday. Let's roll credits. And for those of ye who weren't paying attention, here's the recipe. The Ballad of Sam Hain. One and a half ounces of long tucky Luska spiced rum. One and a half ounces of ye Saint Vrain cidery key lime cider. One and a half ounces pineapple juice. One half of a fresh squeezed lime. Half an ounce of the toughest, rowdiest, ruckus vanilla simple syrup. And shake that up with some ice until your timbers shiver. Enjoy.